Good morning, beautiful people, and y'all know what time it is. Let's get into this week's episodes of all of my favorite shows, and we're going to start out with Basketball Wives. <sighs> and we're starting out with Evelyn and Jennifer, as always. Just... It just seems like this season, Ellen and Jennifer are going to be the topic. Like, I don't know. Like, y'all know me. I will start out doing these reviews, and then if the stupidity keeps going, I will drop it like a freaking hot cake in a New York second. I'm, I'm not, I'm really not in the mood to entertain it. This, And I think the reason I'm not in the mood to entertain it is because, frankly, y'all, they're just too old. Like, they behaving like black ink crew age people. And it's just not attractive. And I'm just not here for it. So, anyway, um, they did try to straight turn Christian and Cece against each other. They gonna try to pull that. If she's so, your girl, then why she come back to you and try to act like um, rah, rah, rah and um, then tell you that it was a joke and she knew it was a joke but she came back to you like we was being serious. Bitches, let me tell y'all something. She came back to CC in a serious way because what y'all saying was serious. Even though it was a joke, it is serious to CC's job. Okay? She didn't really try to portray like y'all was just saying it mean and nasty. She said it like it was. Jennifer and, uh, and Evelyn is spreading this rumor or like starting this rumor or carrying on the rumor that you is um, trying to drag people down to your spot for happy endings. It is what it is. This is what y'all said. Even though y'all was laughing and kicking about it, it don't mean that she got to laugh and kick about it because it was funny to y'all. It wasn't a laughing matter to anybody else. Get over it. It is what it is. And then now y'all don't want them to be upset about it. And Jennifer want to get all upset and make them out. I got more important stuff going on. I got to go to court. I got this court stuff going on. I got more important stuff going on. Then, bitch, if you had such important stuff going on, and you should have kept your damn mouth shut and been worried about your own business and not down there with Evelyn talking about somebody else's business. If right, your business I had to take a that. breather because I... I really just kind of got peed off with them. I'm so sick of their dumb stuff and the fact that they purposely do ignorant stuff at their age. Like, I'm just... Anyway. Let's get on Evelyn and Tammy. That's the next stuff. Okay. Like, all of Evelyn and Tammy jokes is at somebody else's expense all the time. All the jokes are hurtful and damaging. Evelyn and Tammy keep taking punches at, they take punches at each other, and they take punches at other people. It's always fun and last for them. It's never fun and last for the other people, and then they both always get mad when it's done back to them, and I'm tired. That's old, too, and I'm at this point, if they gonna keep this up, they need to be taken off the show. Matter of fact, you can take off the entire show, because it's just turning back to that bully mentality like it was when it was they were just in Miami. And I'm not here for it. People killing themselves over bullying and how these grown women with grandchildren on here behaving this way at, at, at this day and age is just, ugh. It's just being too much. It's just, I don't know. I'm just, because they even made me use the B word. And I don't even like to call people that. But anyway. That's why Tammy and Evelyn don't get along because they too much alike. They both mean. They mean girls. But anyway, Cece had a, had a pack of bitches over to her spot. She a good one because I wouldn't have had them over there because y'all disrespectful. And I'm sure she want to see what she want to show them what her spa really about and let them see how professional it is and all of that. But and she probably need to do some little recording for her the camera time or whatever. But. Anyway, all the women getting along good. Everything great. Everything copacetic. It's no problem, no nothing, right? 
So, uh, then they had to bring up this topic again about what Cece and Jennifer and, <sighs> we ain't here for it. So, um, Jackie tried to break the mood by saying, okay, now Kristen did all that said. Let's just get up on the, on the, uh, table and get some dead skin sucked off and Malaysia gonna make the word make try to make a joke and say yeah but with no happy endings honey Christian turned her nose up so bad to her and Jackie like I, 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 was, I was here for them you couldn't even make a joke out of it at this point it ain't even funny no more don't even ever bring it up again so anyway and then I do like the fact that when they were there Tammy called out Jennifer she's like but you did insinuate she told her, Shani, Shani wasn't here for it. Because Shani, Shani said, you did in, insinuate that Christian was lying about um, what she told Cece that they said. And I am glad that Shani called Jennifer out about it. Because she, she did come in and she came for Christian and said, we need to get, get you some vodka. Because, you know, you basically draw people to tell the truth. Because, like, she was lying and insinuating. Because what Evelyn and Jennifer did, they got on the phone and it's like, well... CC, what we what we gonna tell her is make her think Christian was lying, girl. That's what we gonna do. That's how we gonna play it. Cause uh, Chris was bad in tears. They had her second guessing what she said. But I'm glad Shani wasn't gonna let them do that, girl, like that. That's one thing I do like about Shani. She will try to call a spade a spade or duck a duck, and get them together. And had all them women in tears. But anyway. I'm glad Christian and Cece talked after the fact. And even Cece wasn't mad about it. She already knew the game. She knew they were just trying to turn it on each other. And they was more mad that she didn't believe it. Or, you know, that she wasn't mad at Christian did anything. But anyway. They bought in a new basketball wise. The one to play football. OG. Uh, they call her OG. But her name. What's her name? O. O. Ogama, Og Ogma, it's O G O M. Ogon, Ogma, however y'all say it. Uh, Shijindu or something like that. She's Nigerian, um, but she's Jackie friend, so Jackie brought her in or whatever. And I don't think she gonna be here for the drama. I'm gonna tell you who 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 she ain't gonna be fooling with. And uh, Tammy and Ellen ain't gonna be rod right, riding right her face. Cause I'm gonna tell you what they do. They come for weak people, and she definitely not weak. And she gonna whoop they behind now. At this pool party, she said it was Nigerian. I expect her being in a full Nigerian garb, garb and not a swimsuit with some lace around it. I did not expect that. I expect her to be dressed like Jackie was dressed. And Jackie came in there. It was winter time. So, I feel like Jackie was dressed more appropriate than anybody. It was supposed to be a Nigerian party. So, I liked how Jackie was dressed. Everybody else was their regular bougie self. And I didn't agree with what the, even the hostess had on. But So, I got to give Jackie a shout out for them for the first time she was dressed right. That doggone Jackie said she done got it in her car at night driving fast down Christian trying to get to the African store and get up out of there to get her clothes. And when nobody else but that's okay Jackie girl that's okay you did that girl you did that okay much respect to Jackie but anyway um, so we get to the pool party now I pointed out to y'all earlier that Evelyn and Jackie was getting along just fine no party uh, no trouble no whatever Jennifer and Evelyn walks into the pool party they sit over there to they sell. Christian and Tammy over here talking. Everybody else back and forth over here in this little section, the little cabana thing. Ain't nobody having no pro no problem. Here these two shady bitches come. And I hate to call them that, but it is what it is. This is how they behave, and I hate to say that. But they just act that horrible. And I hate calling other women that, especially black women. But they just behave in this manner that's so disturbing to me. But anyway... So here they are over here sitting out to themselves, and of course Jennifer and Tammy are friends. So she go over there and speaks to Tammy, and she said, "You and Evelyn, you know what? Let's just fix this." So she calls Evelyn over, or whatever. So they basically Jennifer's just like, "What? What can we do to fix this? Like, where did this all all start? And like, basically, what is the issue?" And Evelyn is just like, "Well, it it started for me." When you said, um, 
I donated the money to the GoFundMe for attention and the GoFundMe wasn't closed. Now, it may have been closed when you seen it, but it was open for me and I didn't have to do nothing for attention. There was a child burned and when I seen those pictures, it touched my heart and I just keep telling people that and I didn't come for her in that manner. I was touched of blah, rah, 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 rah. So... I personally think Evelyn did it for attention because everything Evelyn does is for a motive. Just like what everybody else does on the show, hers is no death. So anyway, Tammy said, well, we can clean this up right now. Jackie! Jackie! So here comes Jackie walking over. And she sat down, ready to get it jumping. Now, again, I'm going to point out, she didn't have no trouble with Evelyn when Tammy wasn't around. When they was over at the spa, when Tammy wasn't around, everything was copacetic. She didn't have no problem with Evelyn. There was no turn up, no nothing. Now, keep in mind, I always tell y'all, and I told y'all the last review, Jack, Jackie has no turn up unless she got somebody she think in her corner that's going to be ready to fight or turn up with and have her back. Other than that, she's scared of her shadow. So, anyway, so they talking about not going on. And, uh... They try to uh, get it down or whatever, and, and Evelyn going to put out this funny. Oh, and I heard you got a good, uh, so they go forth about that, whatever. Jackie said, well, it was closed, but it opened back up, and then it closed again. And then Evelyn said, well, I guess when I op- when it opened back up again, that must have been when I seen it, and then I donated again. Then it probably closed right back after then, but Tammy is adamant that it was closed. I think that it was what Evelyn said when it opened up the second time. It probably is when Evelyn donated and it immediately closed, but Tammy didn't know all of that because she was too busy trying to be shady. But anyway, so she going to say, and, and she threw the bunny down, and she going to try to stay in. And I heard, here's your bunny because I heard you can imitate me real well. <laughs> Evelyn shut up when she said, oh, no, honey, it was when, it was doing the busted weed and, uh, and cigarette times, honey. Uh, that's okay. I don't need the bunny. Honey, Evelyn couldn't say, uh, Tammy couldn't say nothing. She shut up right then. <laughs> and then that was that. So then Jackie had to say, you know, what her issue was. And, um, Jackie was talking about where their friendship went wrong. And then Evelyn was like, when you said something about my child, is it, that's when it basically went wrong for me. And Jackie was like, I didn't say anything about your child, all this, that, and other. And she said, I would never say anything about a child. And Evelyn's like, you already did. She's like, well, I did. So what? Oh, well. And then she, she's like, well, stop saying stuff about it. Y'all don't and all this is going back and forth. Jackie just wanted to get the turn up going and I'm just over it because like I said, she waited till she got in front of Tammy to get the turn up going. And if you were so bad, why you didn't get the turn up going before um, you was in front of Tammy? You waited so we don't have nothing to say. What Jackie need to be worried about doing is working on her relationship with Takari and stop blaming Evelyn for that. Evelyn didn't have nothing to do with what was already damaged before she came to the picture. Get over it. I still think Evelyn was petty, whatever, but still, it had nothing to do with her relationship. Just like the the first episode, she was trying to bring, uh, blame Evelyn for coming between her and Sh- Sh- Shanty, as she called her. And Evelyn wasn't even trying to come in between her and the girl. The girl wants to talk to Evelyn. So, Jackie just need to go see somebody for that, for real. But I'm tired of hearing about the whole situation. It's already been on an entire whole season. And so, let's move on to past it. So, when the show go off, they show what I'm saying. You shut the F up. You shut the F up. So, either y'all fight or y'all kiss and make up. Don't want to see a whole other season of it. So, that's all of my review for this show. And I will see y'all in the next.